The two best front load washer brands are G and LG with the best features and best overall reliability. In this video, you'll learn about key features like automatic dispensers, AI, and even the new heat pump drying in LG's wash towers. Like always, there are pros and cons to every model. So this video is designed for you to find the best model for your space and how you wash your clothes. Stay to the end. We'll even show you how to save 10 to 35%, not just on these washers, but appliances in general. The WM3400CW is one of the most affordable and popular front loads sold, but affordable doesn't mean cheap. The WM3400CW still has eight cycles, six options, and the same high 1300 RPM spin speed and reliability as LG's better machines. For perspective, our parents washed with three cycles, one or two speeds, and three temperatures, and had 2.5 cubic feet of capacity versus the 4.5 cubic feet you'll find in this machine. It's also only 30 and a quarter inches deep versus 31 and a half to 34 inches for other competitor brands. And that's a world of difference when stacking a closet or other smaller laundry rooms. LG's 1300 RPM spin speed is fast compared with an average of 1000 to 1200 RPM for a full size front load washer. Faster spin speeds mean less time in the dryer because the clothes are pre-dried from the spin. So LG's service rates are the lowest at 2.1% service in the first year based on 35,000 service calls completed by a service team last year. For perspective, the average appliance is 9.5% service in the first year. The WM3400 is a good basic machine and is still an upgrade from your current machine. It does lack some cycles like steam to loosen tough stains and allergen cycles to remove pet dander and other irritants. It also lacks Wi-Fi connectivity which for laundry actually makes sense, so you, don't, so you can see the time remaining and not be tethered to your laundry for the last five minutes of the cycle in your basement. The washer door is not reversible on any LGs. The doors won't line up if you're stacking with a dryer. It can be annoying if the washer and dryer are also on opposite sides. You do not have an automatic dispenser on this or the next WM4000 on dispensers, the best new feature in front of the washers. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to buy this even cheaper for $699. The WM4000 is an upgrade from the WM3400. It adds four cycles, including Turbo 360, steam, and allergen. Turbo 360 employs five high pressure nozzles to turn any cycle into a 30 minute wash. Most brands have a 15 minute cycle for small loads and wash larger loads in 30 minutes using the Turbo 360 option. Steam loosens tough stains like grass and wine. This model adds Wi-Fi, which will even send a push notification when the cycle is done. This model lacks an automatic dispenser, even on the WM4000. You must buy their next best, the WM6700 model for the dispenser. The WM6700 incorporates many of LG's best features from the WM4000, like Turbo 360, Steam, Wi-Fi, and other advanced cycles. The size is five cubic foot or a half a cubic foot bigger than the other two models, but the exterior depth increases from 30 and a quarter to over 33 inches. Their AIDD, that's Artificial Intelligence Direct Drive, sets the proper cycle based on the weight and type of fabric. It also sets the proper drying cycle on the compatible LG dryer. The WM6700 is LG's first model with an 18 load automatic dispenser. The machine calculates the exact amount of detergent and the best time to release it in the cycle. Auto dispensers also save you from potentially expensive service calls. Many people use too much detergent and the excess suds stay in the machine for an expensive future service call. The dispenser is smaller than G. Maytech had mold issues in the same top location as LG. Speaking of mold, Let's look at the brand that virtually eliminates the problem. G redesigned its washer and dryer with new features three years ago. It's entirely different than any other washer in the market. At five cubic foot, the GFW8500 SSWW is the largest size we recommend along with the LG WM6700. After five cubic foot, you pay way more but not a lot of extra capacity. Microband's an antimicrobial agent to stop growth of bacteria and mold. G integrated Microband in their best washer to prevent mold. Their front load washer uses Microband for the gasket, dispenser, and the draining system. 
OdoBlock is another feature designed to eliminate moisture. With OdoBlock, the washer's vents are built into the door and the cycle spins the drum to create a vacuum vent and dry any moisture. The GFW8500 SSNNWW also features a 32 load automatic detergent dispenser like LG. The G washers are Wi-Fi enabled. You see the time remaining, send notifications and tell you how much detergent is left in the dispenser. G also has a reversible door so the doors can be conveniently opened in any installation. The overnight wash and dry feature allows you to add a small load like an outfit and wash and dry it by the morning. The GFW 650 is another popular washer just step below the 850 series. It costs 100 to $150 less, but does not have an overnight cycle and is 0.2 feet smaller. The washer also does not set the time of the dryer. Depth's an issue in smaller spaces. Reliability is excellent at 6.4%, but LG is more reliable. G is the best at handling problems after the sale with their service department, which is one of the crucial factors to consider especially if you're buying from a store without service. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to save $200 on both these GE washers. The wash tower makes too much sense when you're stacking. The controls are in the middle. When stacking, you don't have to reach for the controls to the top of the dryer at almost six feet. The features are similar to the WM6700, only without the auto dispenser. It is the standard size of 4.5 cubic foot with the depth of 30 and a quarter inches. You have the AIDD and the washer determines the drying cycle. Price is less than if you bought a matching set of the WM4000 and the dryer on the most popular series. Unlike any LG dryers, the wash tower is available with a heat pump. Heat pumps recycle the air with a compressor heating the air through an air exchanger. They're more efficient than the traditional dryer with elements and much gentler on your clothes. Place this wash tower anywhere with water and power because the heat pumps do not need vents. However, the wash tower is the first extra large heat pump of the market. Heat pumps dry at a lower temperature, so drying time could be a concern. We have to test that. More parts than a regular dryer will also mean more expensive repairs as well. That 899 WM3400 was $699 last President's Day weekend. As I mentioned, you don't have to wait until next President's Day for a turn all savings. You'll see deals around 10 to 35% around President's Day, Memorial Day, July 4th, Labor Day, and Black Friday, which is now all of November. Manufacturers added capacity, so you don't see the supply issues on laundry as with other products. And with the recession looming, they'll cut prices to sell through their inventories. Stay within 4.5 to 5 cubic foot range on washers for the best value. After that, it depends on your space, budget, and the features you want. If you want to see the real differences between top loads and front loads, click this link, and thanks for watching.